Hi, I'm Susan Rutledge, and in this video, I'm going to show you a non-destructive way to clean up the outside edges of your artboard in Adobe Illustrator. Now, I have an 8x10 artboard, but you can see clearly that a lot of the elements of the illustration are actually spilling outside of those boundaries. So, if I export this illustration, all of that unevenness that's outside of the artboard is going to be exported with it, and I definitely don't want that. I'm going to move over to the Layers panel and hide the illustration layer just so you can see where the boundary actually is, and then I'll unhide that. Now, I used to use the Shape Builder tool to clean up the outside edges of my artboard, but with that method, sometimes we run into problems, and I'm going to show you what a couple of those are. I'll zoom out, keyboard shortcut Command minus and Command minus, then get the Rectangle tool, keyboard shortcut M, and I'm going to draw out a rectangle that runs right next to the outside edge of the artboard and then I'll get the selection tool keyboard shortcut V and select the illustration and the rectangle and get the shape builder tool which is on the left toolbar the keyboard shortcut for that is shift M now to delete the pieces I don't want I'll hold down the option key and drag my mouse over each one of those I'm going to make sure I get all of them selected and then I'll release my mouse and you can see right away what some of the problems are. I'll get the selection tool, keyboard shortcut V, and click on the artboard to deselect the illustration. Now because I had a special effect applied to my son, it didn't fare well with the shape builder tool and this picket fence is actually the product of a pattern brush and Illustrator has turned it upside down. And then if I wanted to move something like these hills, I wouldn't be able to move them to the left because I've cut off that excess on the right side. So I'm going to undo that move, keyboard shortcut command Z, and then I'll undo the move, keyboard shortcut command Z, where I remove the pieces on the right side of the artboard. I'll need to get the selection tool, keyboard shortcut V, and deselect everything, and then I'll select the rectangle and delete it. Now the non-destructive method, which is super easy, is what I recommend you use to clean up the outside edges so that you don't run into the problems that we just saw with the Shape Builder tool. I'll get the rectangle tool, keyboard shortcut M, and start in the top left corner of the artboard. I'm going to drag out a rectangle that's the exact same size as my artboard. You can see the little text box to the right of my cursor that is telling me it's 8 by 10 inches, so I'll release my mouse. Then I'll move over to the Layers panel. Here is my rectangle, which I've just drawn. But up in the top right corner, I have an icon. I'll click here and come down to Make Clipping Mask and click on this. And immediately everything in the illustration that was outside of the boundaries of my artboard has been masked from sight. And I'm able to now export a perfectly clean 8x10 illustration. We can look at the Layers panel and this line underneath the rectangle tells us that this is a mask. And the great thing about using the mask is nothing has happened to my pattern brush picket fence, nothing has happened to mess up the special effect of my sun, and if I want to move things around, let me show you what happens. I'll get the selection tool, keyboard shortcut V, and I'm going to select just the sun, and I can move it around because I haven't cut anything off. I can also continue to add objects to the illustration as long as they go in this layer with the rectangle mask, they're going to be masked as well. I'll get the paintbrush tool, keyboard shortcut B, and I already have the picket fence applied to that. I'm going to increase the stroke size to one point, and then I'll drag across the bottom of the illustration, and the picket fence has been masked as well on both sides. I'll recenter the artboard, keyboard shortcut command zero, and you can see how nice and neat those outside edges really are. And I believe this is the very best way to clean up those edges for exporting different illustrations. It doesn't affect objects that have special effects. It doesn't mess with any of your pattern brushes. It allows you to continue to move around objects that are on the outside of your artboard, and you can continue to add objects, and they'll be Asked as well. 
Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future tutorials, and I'll look forward to seeing you again next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye now.